Clarus would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's Shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. And he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. One false step and it may prove your last. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio.
the souvenir I had in mind. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. Uh, afraid of accepting the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. But hey, at least I'm not walking away empty-handed. I'd better get going. I may be all muscle and no metal. But I'm gonna keep protecting Noct, the only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The Chosen King should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean... And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> Oh, 
where did you... Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. But... I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth, with mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. Thanks again. <laughs>